Hi, I'm Sandy Atkinson. Here's a demo uh, showing how Mattermost and ServiceNow can be used together in an incident response scenario. There are three key features available in this integration. First, an organization can subscribe to record changes in ServiceNow so that notifications can be received and discussed in Mattermost. When a notification is received, users can use the notification to start a discussion thread, jump out to the specific incident, and make changes to the record right inside Mattermost. We've configured this Mattermost server to receive alerts from the ServiceNow LightStep observability system. Here's, here's an alert that's come in uh, for the service, the product catalog service. Let's click through and have a look at it right in LightStep. Here we can see the actual alert and we can determine whether that's enough information to declare an incident. If it is, we'll go back and the alert also contains information about which playbook to run inside Mattermost to handle the incident. So let's go run the server incident playbook that it suggests. Let's call this the product catalog incident. What's happened is that a new channel has been created that contains all the conversations related to this incident, as well as a playbook that gives us instructions on how to manage the incident. First step, it suggests, is to create an incident ticket in ServiceNow. So let's uh, add the incident. Okay, so we can see that that has been added. If I go back over here, I can tick that off in the playbook. The next step is it, it, it says, hey, uh, we, should, we should add a subscription to ServiceNow uh, so that we can see any events or changes to this incident in ServiceNow and have them shown up in, right in this channel. Well, there's our incident. And let's add that. We want to add any particular events that occur related to this incident. So I've ticked off all the event types. Great. Now, anytime there's something happens in ServiceNow, we'll see it here. At this point, we're going to go back through and we're going to start running things in the triage. We're going to add an on-call engineer. We'll probably run Zoom uh, and we can do that right in Mattermost. And we can perform any other tasks that are necessary in the incident. At this point, somebody uh, in ServiceNow might go in and uh, change the uh, state to in progress and update that uh, on that, that record. If I go back into Mattermost, we can see that that, that record change has been uh, transferred down into Mattermost as well. So we, everybody here can see that that's occurred. Now we go through and continue uh, investigating and managing the uh, incident. At some point we may want to add a comment. We can do that right from Mattermost and have it be in the system of record, uh, which is ServiceNow. That's been added. So let's say we continue uh, working on this incident and managing it. Uh, at some point, um, somebody's going to go in and say, hey, we're finished. Uh, this incident's been resolved. They'll probably do that in the uh, ServiceNow system since it's the uh, system of record. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to resolve that market closed and resolve it. So it's been marked as resolved. So let's finish that run. At this point, all we really have to say is great job, everyone. Now let's show how to use the ServiceNow virtual agent from within Mattermost. The ServiceNow virtual agent uses a combination of natural language processing and menus to help end users without needing to involve a human agent. Uh, that ends the interaction. Uh, if 
the it had not uh, fixed the problem. It would continued with the interaction and eventually either spun off to a human agent or it would have created a ticket writing service now. Uh, that's the end of today's demo. I uh, look forward to everybody trying out the ServiceNow integration uh, soon. Thank you.